I got contacted by the company Leifen wanting me to make a video comparing the Dyson Supersonic, which costs $429.99 US, to its blow dryer, the Leifen Swift, which costs $199.99. Ooh, my first thought was, you sure about that? It's a tough competitor. It's a tough battle to win, and there is no BSing over here. If the Dyson is better, I'm going to say it's better, just like I did on another Dyson comparison video. So game on. Stay tuned to the end of this video because there is a giveaway today, so you don't want to miss it. On the Leifen website, there are two different types that you can buy. You can get the Leifen Swift, which comes with one concentrator attachment, or you can get the Leifen Swift Special, which comes with two air concentrators. One that gives very focused airflow, one that is a bit wider, and a diffuser. The Leifen Swift Special costs $239.99 when it's not on sale so it's a little bit more because you get more attachments compared to the original Leifen Swift. Today I decided to test out the diffuser attachment from the Swift Special on my own hair because I normally diffuse with the Dyson so I know what the Dyson does and I wanted to see what this would do and I tried the concentrator attachment on my beautiful client Katie to see if we can get great curls and a beautiful smooth and voluminous blow dry with this particular blow dryer. But first let's go through some of the details. Let's talk about the weight of the blow dryers. If you compare both blow dryers side by side, neither of them are heavy, which is pretty important for a lot of people because really heavy blow dryers do impact the blow drying experience and it's actually brutal for a hairstylist. I used to use a really heavy Babyless Pro and I am telling you, I could feel it in my arms, I could feel it in my wrists, I could feel it in my back. When you were doing multiple blow dries every single day, the weight of a blow dryer really does actually matter. Right off the bat, the Leifen one does feel slightly lighter, but it's not a noticeable difference. When I hold them side by side, I can tell there's a little bit more lightness on the Leifen side, but it's not anything overly noticeable. Now let's test the sound. So I downloaded this app called the Decibel Meter. I'm going all the way for you here. I'm going all the way for you. To the naked ear, they sound pretty similar, but when I test them, the Dyson is actually a little bit louder. The Dyson is also a bit screechier, whereas the Leifen is more of a wind sound. Just listen, can you hear the difference? Let's talk about settings now because this is really freaking cool. Hashtag hair nerd alert, hashtag big time. When it comes to settings, when you turn the Leifen on, you can pick a low speed or a high speed. But watch this, there's an LED ring here that identifies which heat setting you are on. I love this. I think this is actually so brilliant. When the blow dryer is on the hottest setting, it is at 80 degrees and it is red. When it is on the medium heat setting, it is at 50 degrees and it is yellow. And when it's on the coolest heat setting, it is at a natural indoor temperature and it is blue. I feel like some people would say that this is gimmicky, but when I was diffusing my hair, it was actually super handy to have that because when I diffuse, I often switch from hover diffusing at the highest heat and highest speed to pumping to break up the curls. And when I do that, I lower my speed and I lower my heat. And when you can visually see that on the blow dryer, it's very handy because you instantly know what heat setting you are on. The Dyson on the other hand, you turn it on and then you control the speed on the left and the heat on the right. It's not that this is a bad feature, but with the Leifen, it is more visually representative. So if you are a visual person like me, you're going to love that. You can look at it, you know right away what setting you are on, and then you can change it accordingly. That's that's actually pretty awesome. Moving on to attachments, they are both strong magnetic attachments, which I really like. I mentioned another blow dryer in a previous video, and it was the SRI Dry Q blow dryer. And I like that blow dryer as well, because it's tiny, it's very powerful, and it's great for a traveling stylist like me. It takes up like no space, but it's still powerful. But their magnetic attachment 
actually sucks. At first it was okay, but with wear and tear, especially because I travel so much as a traveling stylist, I'm not liking that. And I don't like it so much so that I emailed the marketing department because it makes me so uncomfortable to have a video recommending it when the attachments are repeatedly falling off. The company actually emailed me back and said that they had several stylists say the same thing. So they are currently working on a new SRI dry Q with a better magnetic attachment, but that is something that you're not going to have to worry about here because the attachment really is strong right off the bat. The Leifen blow dryer does feel like a high end blow dryer. It doesn't feel like a dupe. It feels really high end, which it is. Okay, here's another feature that has me nerding out so hard. If you long press the control button for two seconds, you enter an auto cycle mode. Sounds sexy, right? What it does is it auto shifts from cool to warm to hot and back to cool. I love this. This guarantees that you're gentle on your hair because it never gets too hot, but it gets hot enough that it dries quickly because when I'm just drying on cool mode with any blow dryer, I find that it takes too long. So this offsets that problem. You go from hot, so you're really blow drying fast, but then you cool down right away and then you get back to hot. I think it's really cool. I haven't seen that before. All right, now let's blow dry Katie's hair with the Dyson for half the head and the lay fin for the other half to see if there is a noticeable change in how long it takes us to dry the hair. You know what? It's pretty amazing because I found that both on Katie's hair and my own hair, it was faster to dry with the Leifen blow dryer. I didn't expect that one. I can't tell you why that is, but it was, it was faster. I diffused my hair significantly faster than when I use my Dyson with the diffuser attachment. Would I recommend it? 100% yes. This blow dryer is very comparable to the Dyson. In fact, I would reach for it before I would reach for the Dyson. I think it's actually better in many ways. And I think that in today's day and age with technology catching up, the Dyson has become really overpriced for the tech because there are companies just giving it a serious run for its money and Leifen is one of them. I'm gonna be giving away a Leifen Swift special. So in the comment section below, Below, let me know what is the most important thing that you look for when you're purchasing a blow dryer. What's the thing that matters the most to you? Make sure to come back in one week and check the community tab to see if you are the winner because I will need your email to get your mailing address in order to send you your blow dryer. If you want to watch a video that gives you some amazing blow dryer tips and tricks, then I highly recommend you check this one out next. I'll catch you guys next week. Bye.